All right, so quick recap for Affinity. Uh, by default, you will need to load first the Osho config. So here you can go into the preference to color. And here uh, you can see that here I have loaded the latest version of the custom version of AJX that you can find on my GitHub. So it's loaded here. You can manually select it or load it through a uh, no show environment uh, like a Windows uh, environment variable. Here I just loaded here quickly. So now let's just load quickly an image. All right. So uh, by default, you will see that here I have loaded a 32-bit uh, image. Uh, actually, it's not 32-bit, but uh, it's a, fl a floating point image. So by default, you can see that it's actually pretty nice because uh, if you actually go to here the 32-bit preview tab, you can see that it will activate the Osho dis OCIU display transform because it detected that you have an OCIU config loaded, and it will automatically enable it. So basically, here uh, it's already working pretty nice. Uh, the only difference is that this image is not uh, supposed to be sRGB by default, and the config is expected it to be sRGB. So here I'm just going to here add a new transform. So source code space it's actually encoded in access 2765. And destination color space, I'm going to say it's linear sRGB, which is the working space for RGX. Uh, everything is in linear sRGB. And here you can see that right now we have a pretty good uh, looking result. That is actually what we intended for. Uh, so that's nice. Uh, it's what we want. But what if now I want to export my image? So here I'm opening the exporter and I'm just going to preview uh, what it looks like. If now I display the preview, you can see that we have big difference and actually it's like uh, the OCIU transform is not exposed. Uh, why? Because when you export, you don't have any option for OCIU. Uh, so you have, uh, it will only apply the EC, uh, ECC transform. You can see it here uh, on top right. So just a simple sRGB classic you can also find it uh, here in document, convert format, you can see that by default here I am in sRGB uh, and a bunch, of, a bunch of number, so it will only apply this to your exported image and not uh, the OCIU. Actually it will uh, it will apply this because it's in my layer stack. So what does it mean? That it means for export we have to uh, put basically what is here inside the layer stack. So here I'm just going to disable it for now, so I put it in unmanage, for now it looks like shit. Uh, but then here I'm going to add a new OCA transform and now this time I'm going from linear sRGB which is still a working space and here I'm just going to specify uh, the color space that he used uh, for the display. So the same as in 32-bit preview which should be here uh, appearance punchy sRGB. So uh, here I have it but I can also use uh, AJX uh, base hRGB if I don't want the punchy look. Uh, you have a bunch of them. Uh, so you here I'm going to use appearance punchy sRGB and here it should be pretty good. Uh, actually you can see that there is a difference uh, on the wet sphere uh, on the wet sphere that has become uh, pink. Uh, so it's an issue that is in the current version I'm using. Uh, unfortunately it seems that uh, yeah Affinity is reacting uh, pretty bad uh, with it, but it should be fixed in the upcoming version. I'm working uh, I'm working on it, but I can show it just after that it's actually working. So for now let's consider that this purple sphere is actually red. Uh, so here all good, it's disabled. Here let's say that I have a GX that is properly applied. So now if I open the exporter again and I click preview, uh, we can see that actually my highlights are not burned. So a GX is of course applied because it's in the layer stack, but we can see that we still have a difference uh, between the two because uh, as before, as I mentioned, it's going to apply the sRGB transform that is specified here, the ICC transform. There is no way we can disable it, which is pretty annoying. But for this, so we have a workaround, which is basically apply the inverse of the ICC transform uh, in the layer stack. So for, to, uh, for us to do this, we can go into OCIO here, and we are going to uh, basically uh, remove it uh, before, so then when the software applies it, it looks good. So here we're going to take sRGB EOTF, and in destination color space, we're going to say linear sRGB. So what this is going to do is just like I'm removing the sRGB EOTF. So then now if I go to export and I click on preview, you can see that we got or actually uh, expected result uh, correct because now the software applies the sRGB ICC, which should be the same as the, the, the top layer. 
and now I can export my image and get the same result uh, as a, a JPEG. Of course, this is not needed uh, if you uh, just need to export an XCR, because of course you don't want the display to be baked. So actually, we can disable the two here, then this one. Uh, so here I can export an XCR like this, and uh, I will keep an linear sRGB XCR, and then I can re reapply on top uh, again the two uh, transform. Uh, if needed. Uh, so this is uh, about that for having it working. So when you work, you can just disable the two that you can only enable at export. You can have something like this. And when you work, you can just use this one that actually don't have the bug on the wet sphere. Uh, that works properly. Uh, so here you can preview the image correctly. And then uh, when you export, you disable and manage. And here, uh, okay, yeah, I need to enable the two, you enable this and then you click export. Uh, and that's pretty much about it for Affinity.